Okay, so this question looks like a translate word problem. Question, translate word problem questions are typically four or more lines long. I also notice that all of the answer choices contain variables, X and Y, which means I may use a strategy that I call plug in your own number, right? So notice how I do this. I'm recognizing the length of the question. So my brain immediately says, okay, I need to translate this, um, write down all the quantitative information. And I notice the answer choices contain variables, which tells me, hmm, maybe I need to plug in my own variables for X and Y in order to answer this question. So now let's get started. A teacher is creating an assignment worth 70 points. All right, so assignment... Here's my translation, equals 70. Um, the assignment will consist of questions worth one point and questions worth three points. Okay, so um, X equals one. So those are my one point questions and Y equals three. Those are my three point questions. Which equation represents this situation where X represents the number of one point questions? Okay, so if I had been wrong in my assumption here, because I had not read this question prior, um, I just would have changed things, right? So don't worry about being wrong. Just change it if what you read adjusts um, what you assumed. So in this case, we're confirming what I assumed, which is the equation represented, represents a situation where X represents the number of one-point questions, so here, and Y represents the number of three-point questions, which is here. So a teacher is creating an assignment worth 70 points. So what do I know? I know that a student is going to have some number of one-point questions, and some number of three-point questions, and they are going to all add up to 70. So this is a little bit tricky, right, because I said x equals 1. Really, x equals the number of one-point questions, and really y equals the number of three-point questions, right? So if I'm trying to have all that add up to 70 points, then it looks like choice C is going to, no, choice D is going to be the correct answer, right? Because I'm going to have X one-point questions, right? So however many I have, 20 of those, 30 of those, whatever it is, plus I'm going to multiply the Y, the number of three-point questions by three, right? Three times Y, because that'll give me the total number of points associated with the three-point questions, right? So if I have 10 three-point questions, that would mean that this value will be 30 here as a total. And that should all add up to 70 in terms of my total number of points. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, X is the number of one point questions, however many I have. 3Y represents the number of three point questions, but also multiplied by the point value per question, which is three points. And when I add all that together, I should get 70. So my correct answer here is choice 